Well, well let's get started. So, uh, my name is uh, Everett Knight, and I'm Executive Vice President of Strategy and Investments for Valens Growworks. Uh, Valens is the largest extraction company in Canada, uh, and we're located in beautiful uh, British Columbia, where BC Bud was created, as you can see in the picture. Uh, great views and great bud. Uh, we trade on the CSE, the Canadian Securities Exchange, under the symbol VGW. Um, so just at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, before I get into more about us, I just wanted to give you a little bit on my background. Uh, my background is actually uh, more on the portfolio management side, uh, like many of you that I've chatted with in the room. I ran a small cap fund in Canada uh, six years ago, and uh, we kind of stumbled upon the cannabis space because in Canada there wasn't a lot of growth in other sectors, and cannabis was one of the only ones. And what we saw is what we we saw the U.S expanding rapidly, and we saw medical patients being added every single day and research studies being done. So we took a very hands-on approach, and we were one of the, the first mutual funds to actually invest in the cannabis space in Canada. Uh, and then we said, okay, we had to limit our weight in our mutual fund because it was lower volatility. Let's take a bigger step in the industry and ended up launching one of the first cannabis funds in Canada uh, that had a great track record. Um, but over that time frame, I toured 80 plus facilities across the globe, looked at 1,200 companies, and I fell in love with the extraction space. Um, I love the stability of margins and the high margin abilities of the space. Uh, so I ended up touring uh, facilities across California, Colorado, uh, Oregon, Washington, and Canada. And I came across a company called Valens uh, that I'm currently with today, but I ended up falling in love with their proprietary extraction techniques, and I find myself now from the investment side on this side of the industry. So, so I have to touch on this. My lawyer says it's forward-looking statements, apparently, so this is the fun part. So what we do at Valens is uh, we're a fully licensed uh, extraction company that focuses on our proprietary extraction services uh, to make value-added products for our customers. And, and our belief is that uh, concentrates is really the future of cannabis. So uh, we, we like to say a dried cannabis uh, is really like vinyl records. It's great, and there's a time and a place to it, uh, but edibles and concentrates uh, is like digital music, and it's the future. And our belief in the, in the system is that oils and concentrates is the future of the industry. And you see that in the growth trends that are happening here and around the world. Um, so this kind of gives you a background on what we do. So, so this, this is a busy slide, uh, but just to kind of uh, uh, put it down, we're, we're not only the first, or we're not only the largest extraction company in Canada, we're the first collab in Canada. And what I mean by collab is we, we're partnering with our Canadian LPs and we're creating products. So we're launching uh, edibles, concentrate, vape pens that I'll get into further in the presentation, but we're customizing these products for our partners and making them brands in the industry. And a lot of our partners are really good at cultivating, but they haven't focused on extraction and we're actually filling that void in the values chain in Canada today. So we have the ability to import and export cannabis uh, globally. Uh, we are actually just getting our EU GMP certification that should come in the Q1, which will open up the doors uh, not only in Canada, but around the world. Uh, we operate in a 25,000 square foot facility, and we have lots of additional uh, capacity room today uh, with many lines of extraction. And I'll get into some of those in the next few slides. So, so before I get into that, I want to touch on a part of the industry that I think is, is sometimes overlooked, um, and it's, uh, it's the lab part. I think if you look at brands being created in this industry, it comes down to consumer trust. And that trust is built on reliability and consistency of their product, and it starts and ends with cannabis testing. Today, you can send three different samples out for cannabis testing and get three different results. And uh, I, I think that's something that we're solving slowly in the industry, uh, but we're at the forefront of it. We were the first lab to be ISO 17025 accredited uh, in North America. And uh, one of the largest testing companies, Thermo Fisher, actually partnered with us, uh, an $80 billion plus uh, company, to build a standard in testing that we don't have, uh, not in Canada, but we want to build it globally and around the world. And uh, that's something that every extraction company needs is testing because you need that consistency for your partners and for all the LPs that come to us. We want their brands to be trusted. So we have three different revenue streams that I'll get into, but they're all based in extraction. I mean, a lot of the models you've heard today 
is that, uh, is that we do a bit of everything. And we come in every day and focus on one thing. We want to be the best in class premium extraction company, not only in Canada, but the world. And we offer five different types of extraction uh, today. Uh, we got CO2, uh, which is subcritical and supercritical. We have ethanol, we have uh, hydrocarbon, which if you think about hydrocarbon, for those that you don't know, it's, it's the anes, it's the butanes, the propanes. Uh, we offer solventless extraction, uh, and we all offer terpene extraction. So why do we offer so many? Is because to customize the end products, whether it's uh, vape pens or edibles, you need a different extraction method. And a lot of people don't understand that. So we want to have every different type of extraction method in-house so that we can customize these products for our, for our customers. And I'll get into some of our customers in the next few slides. So some of the products, we're, I'll, I'll touch on a few, but what we're making with our customers is we're going to be one of the largest manufacturers of vape pens in Canada. Uh, we're making edibles and concentrates. Uh, we're, we're making uh, cannabis-infused beverages, which I think is an underrated part of the industry, soft gels, two-piece, uh, tincture bottles, and creams for all our customers. That's just a, some of them. But we're really customizing to our customers' need. What do you want and what brand do you want to build, and we'll help you get there with the product. So, so one of these products is, uh, is Terrakino Source Technology. And, and right now that we have a problem in the industry where if you look at cannabis oil, it, uh, it floats on the top of water. So it's not water soluble is what you say. Um, and uh, this, this nano emulsification technology uh, that was based in Washington uh, figured out how to, how to make cannabis water soluble. And then the difference from some of the other technologies out there is that it, it, it's consistent in every sip you have. And consistency, again, is a reoccurring thing I'll talk about, but you need consistency uh, for, for those consumers to build trust in the brand. And their product is consistent in every sip. And I think the difference uh, of their product has to do with onset and offset. So if you look at all the alcohol companies getting into this space, how cannabis-infused beverages actually compete with alcohol is the onset and offset. Right now, if all of us have a cannabis-infused beverage in this room, or this my, my coffee's cannabis-infused beverage, it would take 30 minutes to two hours to onset. And it would last for four to eight hours. So we'd have one beverage, and uh, we'd be high for eight hours. Um, not very social. Um, and if you look at Terrakino's technology, uh, it actually speeds up the onset to five to 15 minutes, and it goes away in an hour to two hours. Now, what does that remind you of? It reminds you of a beer. And beer's sold in a six-pack for a reason, because it's social. And for cannabis-infused beverages to truly compete with alcohol, we need this type of technology. Uh, so we have exclusive rights for this technology in Canada. Uh, we were just very opportunistic. So our focus is in Canada, uh, but we are in three different continents around the world. Uh, if you look at this industry as an investment opportunity, obviously Canada and the US are at the forefront. But there's 30 plus countries around the world that have legalized medicinal cannabis. And it, it, for your expectations, I expect that to double in the next year. So there's a lot of opportunities coming online. And if you look at medical patients, what do they want? Does a doctor want you smoking cannabis? No, I, I don't, I've never talked to a doctor that wants you to smoke it. They'd rather you take it in a different format. And the base of that format is the key is extraction. And we're really trying to take our platform and, and proprietary expertise in Canada and build a global platform. And, and that's what we've been doing over the last six years. So, so I want to talk about some of our partnerships. Uh, we, we, we signed the largest uh, multi-year cannabis extraction contract that's ever been signed, I think, in the world with Canopy Growth. I, I don't know if you've heard of them. They're one of the largest. They're the largest company in the world. But we're doing their extraction in-house along with other partners. But our goal is to build a diversified platform for a variety of different partners under house and, and, and meet their individual needs, whether you're big or small or mid-tier. Whatever you are, we want to actually customize it to your needs um, and, and your marketing needs and your end consumer's needs. So, so I wanted to touch on uh, financial metrics. We, we don't give guidance for financials. Uh, but AltaCorp, uh, a Canadian firm, just initiated coverage uh, about two weeks ago. It is the second firm to do so on our stock, and, and this is kind of their guidance. Uh, if you look at uh, the time of the report, it was uh, 201 million market cap, 159 million enterprise value with 41 million in cash. Uh, I think currently we're trading around 195 in the stock price, uh, and their target is $5. But 
what we're trying to do is build a very profitable and high